air travel has never been safer than it is today. But this sense of security is jeopardized by runway excursions, including overruns and veer-offs, which occur more often than we tend to acknowledge. The Flight Safety Foundation analyzed worldwide aviation data from 1995 to 2008. The statistics revealed that runway excursions occur at a rate of two to three times a month, are responsible for 97% of all runway accidents, and 30% of all aircraft accidents. But the most eye-opening statistic was runway safety-related accidents where excursions occur account for 83% of all fatal runway accidents. Key West International Airport, Florida, October 31, 2011. A Gulfstream 150 business jet overran the runway on the west end of runway 27. The aircraft passed through a 600-foot runway safety area, plus 220 additional feet, before stopping in a small pond three feet short of a fence. Fuel leakage occurred with substantial damage to the aircraft. Two passengers suffered minor injuries. The NTSB and FAA were still on site November 3rd when the unthinkable happened. A Cessna Citation 550 approached the east end, or departure end of runway 09 during landing rollout at a high rate of speed and was unable to stop. But this end of the runway had a Zodiac Arresting Systems EMOS Max installation in place. The result was dramatically different. The aircraft passed over a 35-foot setback area, then engaged the EMOS Max system and came to a safe, controlled stop. The five people on board quickly exited the aircraft with no injuries. The aircraft suffered only minimal damage with no fuel leakage. By 2 p.m., the aircraft had been towed to a hangar and the runway reopened at 2.06 p.m. It will stop an aircraft. It will stop it quickly. It'll stop it safely with very little, if any, damage to the aircraft and very little, if any, injury to the occupants. I mean, those people got out of that citation. All of them exited that big uh, citation literally before the dust settled. Actually, it was very um, smooth, but steady, aggressive stop, but not, you know, not forceful. Just a real deacceleration without any real uh, abrupt stoppage. One measure for mitigating runway excursions is the build out of safety areas. In the U.S., a federal mandate requires all deficient RSAs to be brought into compliance with FAA standards by December 31, 2015. This can be satisfied in two ways. A 1,000-foot-long RSA beyond the runway end, or an EMOS, Engineered Material Arresting System, providing a comparable level of safety. Per FAA guidance, an EMOS can reduce the RSA space to 600 feet or less, Other challenges are space-constrained runway ends, and environmental issues. The economical footprint of an EMOS can be the perfect solution in these cases. San Luis Obispo Airport was the first airport to use an EMOS to acquire a sizable runway extension within their existing airport property. By physically shifting their runway north and installing two approximately 300-foot-long arrestor beds at both ends of runway 1129, the airport gained 800 feet of runway length, 400 feet at each end. A low-strength EMOS is available as an option for general aviation airports with a lighter weight aircraft mix. Zodiac Arresting Systems has been safely stopping military aircraft and protecting high-value assets for over 60 years. That expertise proved invaluable when Zodiac Arresting Systems, at that time known as ESCO, partnered with the FAA, Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and the academic community in the mid-1990s to develop the EMOS technology. How does an EMOS stop an aircraft? 
Zodiac Arresting Systems EMOS is composed of engineered cellular cement blocks that are designed to stop an aircraft at 70 knots or less. The strength of each EMOS bed is established through extensive computer modeling based on an airport's fleet mix and over 100 other factors. The interaction of an aircraft's landing gear and wheels with the EMOS material brings the aircraft to a safe and gradual stop. As this early test footage shows, the system has worked reliably and predictably from the very beginning. After an arrestment occurs, the aircraft is removed and the airport reopens. The EMOS bed remains functional, but repairs need to be made in the areas where the EMOS material was compromised. Replacement can be completed very quickly by accessing a factory inventory of EMOS blocks. Zodiac Arresting Systems EMOS has maintained a perfect record in saving aircraft since the first installation took place at JFK New York in 1996. These saves have covered a range of aircraft in a variety of environments. It is the only aircraft arresting system that has successfully stopped aircraft safely in actual emergency overrun situations. EMOS Max was introduced in 2007. This latest version of Zodiac Arresting Systems EMOS maximizes runway safety while providing greater durability and lowering maintenance requirements. The Zodiac Arresting Systems Research and Development Team has made these and future product improvements possible with their innovative work in their R&D laboratories. EMOS Max has been successfully installed and tested in extreme temperature environments and has met the challenge of durability. The creation of an EMOS takes place at the Zodiac Arresting Systems facility in Logan Township, New Jersey. Zodiac Arresting Systems' civil engineering team works with airport engineers to determine site-specific requirements. This information, along with Zodiac Arresting Systems' FAA-validated computer model, is utilized to design the unique blocks that form an EMOS arrestor bed. Each block is evaluated and tested to ensure a high level of quality and performance to specifications. Zodiac Arresting Systems Field Service Team then works on site with contractors and the airport to prepare and install the finished EMOS bed. Zodiac Arresting Systems EMOS is installed on over 80 runways worldwide as of May 2014. The majority of these have been in the US, but in recent years the technology has gained international prominence. Additional international installations are in the planning stages. In the United States, FAA policies provide detailed guidelines for the implementation of EMOS at airports. Government grants provide significant financial relief for site preparation and installation. On the international level, ICAO has added EMOS aircraft arresting systems to the language of Annex 14 in recognition of the benefits EMOS technology can provide to deficient safety areas. EMOS systems, such as EMOS Max, are now officially accepted as an alternative means of compliance to ARISA. These systems are permitted to be installed within the runway strip, a critical factor when RISAs are non-existent or severely constrained. There has also been significant support from pilot unions in response to Zodiac Arresting Systems pilot education efforts. EMOS Max saves lives and high-value assets, has a perfect safety record, provides flawless performance, and is durable with low maintenance. Every aircraft that's been arrested has flown away. We are ecstatic with the performance of the EMOS installation. 34 people are alive today because of it. It will stop an aircraft quickly and safely with very little or no damage to the aircraft or occupants.